happy Friday to you and yours, you have reached the Friday Funnies. And we're just a few days away from the Republican National Convention being held in my old hometown of Cleveland, Ohio. When I lived there as a kid, the only convention-like event that ever came to town was the circus. So it's good to see nothing has changed. You know, Donald Trump is the presumptive nominee for president, and he has selected his running mate as Governor Mike Pence from Indiana. But since nobody really knows who Pence is, I, I thought that, uh, that Trump would have chosen somebody more popular with international appeal. Somebody like Pokemon. Huh? That would have been perfect. Of course, I'm still running for president myself, hashtag Dale for POTUS, and I found it interesting that Bernie Sanders jumped over this week to support Hillary, his previous foe. I'm guessing that he is bucking for ambassadorship to Woodstock, where he'll be in charge of everything that happened in the 60s. Well, if it's not the heat, it's the humidity. At least that's what I am blaming the oddness of this week's news on. In Paris, Arkansas, the town recently named Most Oxymoronic, Sean Higgum broke out of the Logan County Jail and went on the lam. After eight days, he made his way to Mitch's Place, a Paris tavern. He sat at the bar in his striped jumpsuit, ordered a beer and a burger. Then he asked the owner to get him a ride back to jail. Well, the police were called, and Higgum was soon on his way. But before he left, he gave a tip to the bartender. He said, if you rob somebody, don't never get caught. Parisian words to live by. A new airplane designed just for overweight flyers was unveiled this week at an air show in England. The CS-100, manufactured by the Canadian company Bombardier, features wider seats to accommodate larger bottoms. Their 19-inch wide middle seats are an improvement over their rivals' 18-inch seats. Wow, that is, that ought to make all the difference, you know? The plane's also going to feature larger windows, wider aisles, larger luggage bins, so I guess it can truly be classified as a jumbo jet for the truly jumbo. All I'd like when this flight takes off is to buy the McDonald's franchise on board. In Goanesia, Brazil, an activist, you know, whatever that means, has pulled another of his dumb stunts. Artival Duarte took snakes and tarantulas, then he put them in a plastic bucket. Then he stuck his head into the bucket with them and held it there for seven, several seconds. Hooray! Good for him! What the hell did that prove? You know, it, the whole thing sounds phony to me. I think if Artifal really wants to prove his fearlessness, he should take a swim in the polluted waters off Rio where the Olympics are being held. Huh? He declined this idea, saying that snakes and tarantulas don't cause diarrhea and do not carry the Zika virus. Apparently, he doesn't want to become too active, if you know what I mean. Well, that's it for another week, my friends. But after the convention, next week should be a doozy. I'll see you then.